I am Billy Army. I'm uh, co-hosting here, your co-pilot, with Dave Michaels. And hey, Dave, uh, you ever yes, heard sir. of this uh, thing called the uh, Aztec Death Whistle? Aztec Death Whistle. No, I yeah, don't man. think I, I have. I came across this the other day. I was just doing some uh, random research. I always like to discover new and interesting things. Mm -hmm. But apparently there's something called an Aztec uh, Death Whistle. Uh, it comes from the Mayans. And it's a small object. It looks, um, well, it's uh, sculpted and shaped exactly like a skull, a small sc a skull. And what you do is you uh, blow into it, and it makes a very horrifying whistling sound. And they use this in special ceremonies, apparently, uh, Day of the Dead ceremonies. And I guess when they went to war, they would they'd blow these things. And boy, I'll tell you what, it uh, sounds like someone screaming in agony, Dave. It's, it's kind of it terrifying. Is it a whistle? You mean like a... Um... Yeah, and you cut it. They, there's pictures online of it where they've cut these... I got it, I got uh, it right here. I got it, it right here. It looks like a conch shell on the inside of it, like, but it's shaped like a It looks like a, a like Native a American is, is going to play this. Should we play this? Can, can, does it sound good on the air? Um, it's going to sound a little frightening, but I think we should play it for the sake of enlightening our listeners. As How did to you the find out death about this thing? Skull. Well, sometimes in the evening, I'm Googling for death whistles, Dave. No, I just I came across it randomly. I'm always interested in checking out uh, new interesting stuff, so I wrote that down, and I brought it in, and I thought we'd scare our audience. All right, if you're out there on Highway 17, this is the death whistle, which you don't want to be Four seven nine one zero eight zero. Let's check this out. To... Cause a big psychological this effect the speaking about to the enemy. The so this is very intimidating instruments, and this is very unique. So, so, unique. so, so they would play this when, when they're whistle. facing off with the enemy. Apparently so. <laughs> Holy cow, dude! I wonder if MZ is listening. <laughs> Holy cow! That's the whistle itself, right there. Jeez. <laughs> oh, isn't that wild, Dave? I would, I would uh, need a new pair of pants if I heard that. I when know. I was Can holy you imagine cow! Imagine if you woke up in the middle of the night, and you heard that, you're holy trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Man, I guess maybe it, you'd go quicker and smoother if you after you heard that. That's terrifying. And apparently, I, uh, they were saying that uh, they'd have hundreds of these fellows with these tiny little skulls there, and this, and they'd go to battle. It'd be a couple hundred. I mean, we can just well, use they, our if imagination. They're, if they're going to battle with whistles, I mean, it might sound scary, but they'd be pretty easy to to, well, to defeat. Well, intimidation factor, Dave. You know, you got to well, have that, a that only works to a certain point. Well, I suppose. Did anybody? Do we have a caller on the line? We, we have plenty of callers. Yeah, uh, call, call. Oh no, these guys. I think are calling about Highway 17. Highway 17. Highway 17 it's affects everybody's up. life. Um, highway 17 is. A let's, let's check Highway 17. I bet you traffic is slow moving, uh, near the Fishhook. Let's see. Um, four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Let's get to the phone lines. Actually, Highway 17 is looking relatively good right now. I'm sure some big rig was going to blow everything in just a few minutes here, though. Let's see who's up next. Andrew, calling from Monterey. You're in the air. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, with Highway 17, it's definitely the, you need to stop trucks from going there during rush hour time. I think that's a pretty that's pretty much a given, and I'm surprised that's, like, actually not even a thing yet. And then um, also maybe speed, I think some type of speed traps, like uh, radar sensors would be uh, very beneficial. Just, you know, stick at the people who are speeding down at 90 miles an hour. It's really easy to do. They do it in other countries all the time. And, yeah, uh, that makes sense. And another one is uh, maybe if we had like a cannabis dispensary on the Santa Cruz side, uh, so that when they're going over the hill, they you know they could take a joint with them and make it a little bit more easygoing, and then they can actually relax. That sounds wonderful, and it, make, it reminds me that uh, that might be illegal. Now, David, David, thank Michaels, you for your call, Andrew. David, David Michaels, you are avoiding the topic of which you brought up earlier, and that is you were on Highway 17, right? And you saw a couple making sweet love. Tell us the story, David. Well, I don't know. They were making. They were just. They're, you know, they were just doing something that's dirty. I can't talk something about it. Something that's hey, dirty. You know, if you if you really want to slow down people on Highway 17, instead of having a cop there with a radar gun, how about you just have a cop doing that? Uh, every every yeah, time you, you're would, going around, that would scare. The, would yes, that scare you? It scared me to slow down. That's for sure. That's a whistle. Knowing that's a whistle. Jeez. The Aztec death whistle here on Flight 1080 Holy KSCO cow. Radio. That's, That's cool. Uh, I got to get one of these. Michael. Do they sell these on Amazon? Do you know? You know, uh, I don't know. I didn't look, but I think people are That's making awesome. reproductions of them, like new ones. But these uh, these are the real deal, man. That's awesome. I got to get one of these. 479-1080. Let's see what Danielle has to say calling from Santa Cruz. You're in the air. 
Hi, guys. I love the show today, especially Highway 17. It's total death trap. But, Dave, really, what's your problem with anything unionized? It seems like you just want to kill the Teamsters union up there. You're saying that the reason there's traffic is because of the slow-moving diesel? You know, people just don't drive the speed limit up there. I, you know, and it causes a lot of problems. You got people going fast. I mean, forget about the motorcyclists that are trying to drive that area. How many of those people do you see up there dodging cars that are texting or crossing over the the median? I just, you know, it just seems like the solutions you guys are handing out today aren't the greatest. Well, do you, Thank you, you. Well, you I have, have no solutions. Ideas, I think, Dave, was, Dave, you were simply I, just, I have it was plenty an idea. Of it was just an idea, wasn't it, Dave? The death whistle, I think, is a good one. <laughs> um, uh, I've got an idea. How about... Banning How about trucks? If banning you work in the tech industry and you drive over Highway 17, you should have to pay a fee of twenty thousand oh, dollars a year. And the death whistle. There's we a get movie. less traffic. It's called, it's called Bone Tomahawk, and they have there. It's about uh, Indian cannibals, American Indian cannibals, a tribe, and they have that death whistle in their chest. It's called Bone Tom. This is a fiction film, though, right? Right, right. Because but, you know, the death I, whistle itself, I believe, uh, is uh, Aztec. So um, well, it's still fashioned out of the same um, bone mm-hmm. density and thickness as the one that you're talking about right now. I'm not an expert, but I could be. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Thank you for the call, Danielle. Four seven nine. Here's another suggestion because I'm all about I'm all about solutions, Billy. I I, I mean I'm not the kind of guy who's just going to sit here and go nah, 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 and not give you. Ideas. Yeah, fix it, David. Um, I, I say get rid of big rigs during during rush hour. During it, rush just hour. during rush hour, you know, the certain time during the day, mornings and certain time during the night. That get does rid make of those. sense. Yeah, yeah, sure it does. And uh, get rid of left turns. The and, left turn Install the issues. death whistles and and let's <laughs> let's uh, put back up some of those fake cardboard cutouts of the CHP cars. You remember those? I don't remember. You those. don't remember the, yeah, they, they used no to have on Highway 17. The the um Did they weren't they really? cardboard, but they were wooden cutouts. And people just slow down. Yes, and they were wow. painted like CHP cars, and people would slow down. If it works, it works because they got to do something. The traffic is out of hand out there. And I like the idea. The, the idea of shutting down the the turn lane is very interesting. But I imagine that the neighbors in the area are going to get just yeah, wild that, that up, pitchforks right? and come out and. Make me well, I think I would think that if you're living on if you're living along Highway 17 and your driveway is right off the roadway, I would think you kind of know that man, this is probably not the best <laughs> the best area. <laughs> uh, what else could they do to you, right? I suppose that's true. How, how, how much worse could it get? Four seven nine ten eighty. Let's see what Ann has to say. Calling from Highway 17, you're in the air. Hi, Dave. Hey, Billy. I Hi have there. some observations. Unfortunately, I don't have solutions. I drive 17 every single day, six days a week. And have to say, listen to you guys on my way home. Thank God you're there in the air. Let me say, I have some observations. First of all, I don't think it's the big rig drivers that are really the problem. As much as it is, the people do not know how to navigate around them. For instance, there's one up ahead of me, and the people move over and are behind it. Instead, You can see it up there. They know they're going to have to pass it. What do they do? They stay behind it in the slow lane and then try to pass it at the last minute cutting people off or getting stuck there. And then there's the people who get over into the fast lane to go around it, and then when they reach the tail end of the truck in the fast lane, they slow down because they're afraid to go past it. So they trap themselves in between the big rig and the medium line there or the, the, the dividing wall, and then it makes everybody in both lanes now have to slow down. That's and then what... here's another thing. Okay. The Highway 17 Express buses slow things down as slow, if not worse, than the big rigs. Uh, well, you know, at, at least, the at bus, least they're, they're carrying more people. I want people, the bus. They're, they're carrying more people. Thank you for your call. And Yeah, uh, human and, behavior is problematic. People every, drive like maniacs, Dave. Everything she said is, is right, and that's why mm-hmm. big rigs should not be allowed on that freeway. I and see during the rush argument. hour traffic. Absolutely, I can see that's a valid argument. Yes, it's and how come it's no one agrees with logical. me? It's like I'm. It's I'm like agree I'm, with you, David. But no, but I, I know you, but I want other people to agree with yeah, me. Yeah, I want you to because... call in and agree with us, dang it. We're going to solve this problem right here on KSCO Radio. And here's the funny thing yes. about the last caller's comments is she was saying that what it boils down to is people drive like maniacs out there on Highway 17. And when you drive like a maniac out there on Highway 17, it isn't good for anybody. And, of course, it brings me back to the other issue as we talk about we're going to get to the Mars and the moon and all this. And we can't even drive over Highway 17 correctly as That's human a good beings. point. I mean, it's ridiculous. No, it's kind of not even uh, okay. really related, but... Uh, I tried. It's a point. It's a point. 
Who wants to go to Mars? Call us up here. Would you go to um, Mars, dude? Would you take a one-way trip to Mars? Ah, uh, no, no, I don't like any of that. I think it's right. I think it's absurd that we're even trying you, you, to get you to could Mars. Be the, you could be the you could be the uh, the stand-up comedian. I mean, you would have no competition up there. I, uh, but by the time you get there, you're like dead, right? Don't you get? It's like uh, you're you're not going to live very long when you get to Mars, right? How long does a trip it's not take? The whole is thing. it, it's like a is fatal, it three years? It's a how, how, long, trip, how long does a trip take? Do you know? I think it takes a couple of years at least. Yeah. And then you're stuck there. And I guess if you're into ultimate isolation and you brought the death whistle with you uh, to maybe contact some <laughs> aliens out there, maybe that's what that thing really is. Maybe it's not a death whistle. It's an alien whistle to contact the aliens out here on Flight 1080. This is Billy Army. We're uh, on Flight 1080. I'm here with Dave Michaels. I'm just co-hosting. We've been talking about Highway 17. Yeah. And uh, Dave's got a lot of suggestions on how to fix the problem. We've had callers calling up with their suggestions on Highway oh, how, 17. How about, you know, if you want cars to slow down, every now and then you can have these little cardboard cutouts like, shaped like people that just pop up in front of the... Uh, that would not be safe. No, 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 no. I think that would cause like around a blind turn. You no, just get a little, that would cause a little way, puppy cut out that just pops right up. No, people wouldn't like that. That would cause way too many accidents, David. Way too. Four seven nine one zero eight zero. Now I'm just thinking, dude. I'm just thinking. Three hundred days to get to Mars. Three hundred days yeah. to get to Mars. So not even a year, I guess. All right. That's very interesting. Hmm. I still wouldn't want to do it. It's a well, as they say, it's a suicide mission. That Elon Musk fellow and all them are they're doing that. I guess if he wanted to go to Mars um, and contact Elon Musk over there. Where is he at? Silicon uh, Valley? Is that where he's located? Know. I think he is because, you know what? A few uh, days ago, weeks ago, a friend of mine was telling me that he ran into Elon Musk uh, around town and he was driving one of those Teslas around. Really? So I think he does come around here locally occasionally. I'd like to talk to him about Highway 17 and um, what he thinks about it. He probably drives the fanciest Tesla around, boy. I'll tell you what. Man, I'd love to have a Tesla. Last vehicle I had was a 1987 uh, Ford Mustang. One day I was driving it over Highway 17, incidentally, and it was raining. It was really heavy. It was raining, Dave. Raining real good. And I hit a, a pothole a little bit there, a big water splash, and my uh, muffler came right off. Just fell right off the car. Wow, it must have been a quality car. Yeah, it was a 1987 Mustang. Beautiful vehicle. I paid probably eight hundred dollars you know, for it. Uh, we went to we went kayaking yesterday, and my son saw a Fiero, a Pontiac Fiero, out yeah. in the parking lot. Those, those cars are great, man. I've, I've always wanted one. I would, they look like fun. And then I told my son, those things blew up. Just yeah, like they Pintos. burst into flames, yeah. don't yeah. they? They have they, electrical issues. Yeah. Problematic. I knew about that, right? But they look cool. They do look. Was cool, it red? Man. It was black. Oh, black's even better. Black's my favorite, actually. Four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. We went out there to feed the. Um, Hot dogs to the sea otters. Uh, I can't believe you're out there feeding hot dogs to sea otters. I know, right? I should charge them. Uh, did they eat them up? Did they like them? Oh, they, they love them. Now, I heard that you spotted one uh, with a hot dog in its mouth that uh, did, you did not give it to it. No, I didn't. And you were concerned it. that maybe the authorities were coming, going to come for you, huh, Dave? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm going to order a death whistle. And you know, that, it's funny keep that... Away. <laughs> <laughs> never keep away the authorities. That is nuts, dude. That is crazy. Four seven nine one zero eight zero. Let's see who's up next. Call Dave, her. you're in the air, Dave. Hey, where are you going to park all these trucks while they're waiting for their time to go over the hill? Yeah, Billy. Well, they're just not going to leave. They're going to leave uh, work uh, not on time. Is what we're going to do with that, and we're going to uh, have them go maybe around Highway One. It's going to take longer, more gasoline, and again, we're going to we're going to charge a tax to those that are working uh, in Silicon Valley. If you're in the tech industry, you drive back and forth. It's going to be a special tax on you, and it's going to be about five thousand dollars. Build a new freeway. Build a new freeway is not a bad idea. Yeah, just, for tr just for trucks, and then if they do all take off at the same time on that road, you're going to have a thousand trucks blocking that road. And nobody's going to get by. You have a point there? Yeah, 479-1080-DM-KSEO.com. You know where they should build a road is going to the Pinnacles. They should build a road going right through there to make it easier for us to get out. Uh, I've never been at the Pinnacles. I hear great things about uh, yeah, it. Yeah, it's beautiful, dude. But, again, it, access would be easier if they'd build a road going through there, put some mm -hmm. cell phone towers up, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe a restaurant, too, and there would be nice. It sounds uh, perfect. It sounds delicious. Yeah, well, it's, it's that far. It's, I mean, it needs to do a few Look improvements, at all the but lights we can work on flashing. that. Yeah, these are phone calls. All right, everybody, we got a caller here on Flight 1080, Dave Michaels, and I'm your co-pilot at the moment, uh, Billy Army. 
We were discussing Highway 17. We talked yeah. a little bit about the scary Aztec death whistle. Uh, 479 Let's take one more call before we go to the bottom of the hour break. Let's see who it is. Sean, thank you for your call. You're in the air. Hey, What's guys. going on, Sean? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? I we got hear you. John's feature in my car. Go for right. it. Not better. We can hear you. Sure, guys. Okay. I've been driving 17 uh, since 1984. Mm-hmm. And uh, today the commute is so much smoother than it was simply by the technology of the cars. But, you know, everybody's talking about people driving like idiots. Right. Because the <laughs> they do, don't they? They <laughs> buffer against the idiots. Could you imagine how fast people would go over 17 if there weren't any trucks? They it's been my experience that people try to go as fast as they can always. I Exactly. And the speed limit is not 55. It is 55-0. I have slow. never been on an accident on Highway 17. I've been driving it as a, prof- as, as a, as a carpenter since the early 80s, mm-hmm. every day. And, you know, I, I drive a big truck, and I drive slow because my big truck doesn't stop fast. And I know this about my car, and I know 17, and it's the people that don't know 17 that, you know, like my wife, when she moved here from Boston, she got off the plane, got in a rental car, and found Highway 17. She came from the flats. It was mm-hmm. flat. They don't have mountain roads, and they get scared. Okay, that's human nature. You're not going to fix that. You've got, you know, what we want to do is you want to put a light rail going back over 17. There already is a rail corridor there. From over 100 years ago, I mean, the tunnels are still there. You, I mean, what would it cost to do that? Rather than spend $60 billion on a train to nowhere for our governor, let's put one coming over the hill. I mean, everyone wants to do the rail trail, connect it to, to Silicon Valley. Half of the techies would be, would be on that train. And the carpenters and the plumbers and everybody that's got to bring stuff with them everywhere they go during the day, like me, get 17 for their cars that are full of tools. Fair enough. Thank you for your call, Sean. 479-1080-218-5726. Yeah. All right. Turn that Slow up, Slow traffic, babe. I think, is, is the main problem going over, over Highway 17. Uh, we need to eliminate trucks. We need death whistles. We need uh, some of those fake police, cardboard cutouts. We need uh, just a lot of things. Probably IQ tests before you're allowed to drive over Highway 17. And maybe some uh, tests out there at the Watsonville Fairgrounds Speedway. You know, uh, like that that guy was saying, you know, it it is dangerous. People who are not used to driving these kind of roads do get scared. And and I I, I laugh when I think about that and how we take it for granted. We just, uh, I don't know, maybe we're we're like some hicks or something like that. 479-1080-DM at KS. Let's head out with more birthday music. This time, it is the music of Finn Lizzie, born on this day, guitarist Gary Moore, 1952. Headlines are up next.